So we're given this equation right here, and we want to solve by completing the square. But notice how we have that leading coefficient that's not one. So what I recommend you do is uh, make sure this leading coefficient is one. We're going to divide everything by three to keep the equation balanced. This will make it easier to complete the square. We've got x squared minus 6x minus 13 equals zero. Now what you want to do, step number two, is you want to get the constant, the number here, on the other side of the equation. So we're just going to add 13 to both sides. And so now we have x squared minus 6x equals 13. So to complete the square, what you do is you, the third step here is you take this coefficient, okay, the number that's in front of the x, you want to divide it by 2 and square it. So negative 6 divided by 2 squared, that's negative 3 squared, which is equal to 9. So you can do that work off to the side if you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 9 to the left side of the equation. We're going to add 9 to the right side to keep it balanced, right? So now what we can do is simplify the right side, and we can factor this left side. It's going to be a perfect square, okay, because that's what the completing the square process is all about. And it's always going to be half of this middle coefficient. So it's going to be negative 3. If this was plus 6x, it would be plus 3. So now what you can see is we've completed the square, but we want to take it one step further. We want to solve it and, and get x by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of both sides, okay, to keep the equation balanced, and to get rid of this square, the square and the square root cancel, we get x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 22. Remember, when you take the square root of both sides of an equation, you're going to get two solutions, plus or minus. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, one way to think about this is to write this uh, in two different equations. x minus 3 equals positive root 22, x minus 3 equals negative root 22. And then what I'm going to do is just going to add 3 to both sides. So I get x equals 3 plus square root of 22, and I get x equals, when I add 3 to this side, 3 minus square root of 22. The other option is you can just, right here, you can just, when you add 3, make sure that you put the 3 in front of the plus or minus. So 3 plus or minus square root of 22, and you've solved it. Click the video I did right there to see more examples about how to complete the square, and I'll see you over in those videos.